Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to another video from Infos. In this video, we are focusing to industrial electrical. What is the very fundamental concepts in electrical engineering and how it is applicable to industry as a whole. Moving on. Just an introduction, electrical engineering plays a critical role in all industries, especially in oil and gas, from exploration and drilling to refining and distribution to ensure smooth and efficient functioning of equipment, systems and infrastructure. So, a strong grasp of core components, sorry, core concepts like electric circuit parameters, power systems and control systems forms the foundation for creating and maintaining the complex electrical infrastructure that, that underpins all industrial processes. Regarding the contents in the video, overview of electric circuits, basic circuit parameters with industrial application at conclusion. Then we can see what is an electrical circuit. An electric circuit consists of elements such as energy sources, load, it may be resistor, capacitor, inductors or the combination of these three or these two, any two. Then the switches and finally the wires or conductors to connect the components each other. The analysis of electric circuit refers to computation of the unknown quantities such as voltage, current and power associated with one or more elements in the circuit. So, we can see the very fundamental parameters in the electric circuit. Basic electrical quantities, current, voltage and power. Current is the movement of charge or electrons through a material. Also, current is the rate of change of electric charge. So, if you are denoting current as I, that is the conventional notation and charge as Q, then I is equal to dQ by dt, a current of 1 ampere, that means 1 coulomb per second. Ammeter is the instrument used to measure current. There are alternating current and direct current. As the name implicates, direct current flows in one direction typically sourced from batteries and DC generators, while AC varies with time and is used in household electrical systems or electricity systems. Then a general characteristics of electricity. Electricity is used to refer the widespread energy flow vital to modern technology and daily life. Electron flows from negative to positive terminal and conventionally the current flows from positive to negative terminal. Then the next one, voltage. Voltage is the difference in energy levels of a unit charge located at two points in a circuit and therefore represents the energy required to move the unit charge from one point to the other. Is the very basic definition. Unit is volt. 1 volt is the energy required to move the unit charge. So, 1 joule per coulomb. Joule is Newton meter. So, 1 Newton meter per coulomb. Voltmeter is the instrument used to measure the voltage. Next parameter, electrical power P. Capital P. Electrical power is the rate at which electrical energy is transferred or consumed in a circuit. Also, we know that power is the work done per unit time. 1 watt equal to 1 joule per second. Work done per unit time. Measured in watts, it can be calculated using the formula instantaneous power P equal to V into I voltage into current. Then, there are another two terms, EMF and potential difference. EMF means that is the electromotive force. EMF that is the difference of potential between two electrodes of a cell when no current is drawn. No current is drawn that means the circuit is kept open. But the potential difference, difference of potentials between two points in a closed circuit that means there is an 
current there is current in the circuit then em of independent of resistance but the potential difference proportional to resistance between the given points the energy possessed by charge due to potential difference is called voltage then we can see the electrical as well as the hydraulic analog between analog between the terms charge in electrical corresponds to mass in hydraulic likewise current in electrical and fluid flow in hydraulic systems voltage in electrical system analogs to pressure in the hydraulic system the power p is equal to vi in electrical system here the power is equal to fluid flow into pressure here in the tap pipe we can resume to an electrical circuit and we can see the what i have mentioned here in this figure as well so voltage as pressure current as flow then power as work here also voltage is the potential difference between two points and electrical electric field or the push that causes the current to flow so moving on we can see what is the application of this current and voltage in industrial electrical system so whenever you are listen to the terms voltage and current how it corresponds and what are the things that is caused by this voltage and current some applications we can see here the practical applications are essential for powering the equipment controlling process and ensuring safety and efficiency in various operations powering industrial machinery high voltages like 400 volt 11 kv are used to power heavy machinery like motors compressors and conveyors then current that determines how much power a machine draws and must be monitored to avoid overloading the circuit that is the circuit is whether it is overloaded or underloaded or, or correctly loaded what how much is that depends on the how much current is passing through the circuit then moving on motor control and drives motor that is a crucial component in all the industries so current and voltages are managed using variable frequency drives in motors by adjusting voltage and frequency to control motor speed then soft starters gradually increasing the voltage to limit inrush of current during starting it is an electronic starter to accelerate or decelerate the induction motors to control the applied voltage just a schematic i have shown here then in conveyor belts adjusting motor speed helps to optimize the material flow and energy use that is uh, how much material flow uh, material has to be flow through this conveyor belt so depending upon the motor speed uh, mo sorry motor speed this speed is controlled by soft starter that i have mentioned here then monitoring and protection system protection system is very crucial current and voltage sensors detect overload short circuits and phase imbalances then protective devices like circuit breakers fuses and relays respond based on current threshold to protect equipment and personnel we have to see in due course what are the protective devices how they are functioning what is the importance of this protective devices in the industry example a motor protection lead drips if the current exceeds 80 ampere and more than 5 seconds when it is operating it is from passing through the circuit that is that uh, there comes the protection relay and how it protects the circuit and as well as the personnel then when it is very important that is why this application again as a summary table application area role of voltage and role of current powering machinery that is provide required potential differences then the role of current that determines load and energy use likewise in the case of motor control adjust speed and torque the voltage then the current affects motor efficiency and protection heating supplies energy to heating elements such as industrial ovens and for melting processes etc then here the current that produces heat we are resistance that that also we will see in due course then protection system sensing abnormal spikes or drops current that trips breakers in overcurrent situations 
then what about the power distribution this voltage that determines insulation and equipment rating the current that gates cable sizing and transformer loading then what about the mo energy monitoring the role of voltage that input for the voltage inputs for calculation of power and energy the current that enables load analysis that is also a by divide hot topic we can see that also in due course then as a conclusion so when you are seeing when you are listen to the terms voltage and current it is not a small thing if there are so many things that is involved with this uh, voltage and current the same thing for resistance power etc so it is very important aspects in industry as well as in electrical engineering the session covered some fundamental electrical concepts in industrial application the understanding of the facts will lead to the effective management and troubleshooting of electrical circuits working with the industrial systems so thanks for patient listening we will be more happy if you watch this video and subscribe our channel for timely updates and information see you soon have a great day thank you so much